All right, happy Sunday, guys. This is Tara with Tara Best Stamps. I'm an independent stamp up demonstrator here in Mid Missouri. I'm just making sure I've got everything set up online. Looks like we've got it going well. If you're online tonight, give me a shout out. Let me know you're watching. Hey, Rosie, how's it going? Hey, Amy, thanks for joining. So today we're going to use another new product. Um, so this will be available May the 2nd. Um, this is part of the new Stampin' Up! annual catalog. Um, this is the Zany Zoo set. And what I decided to do today was a double easel card. And instead of doing it in portrait um, orientation, I did it in landscape. So I've got a couple of different measurements. I do a lot of these double easel cards. Hey, Susan, thanks for joining. I'm glad you like it. Um, so I decided to do it. I wanted to do it long ways because um, of the curtains and creating this whole little scene. Um, and I didn't quite think that would look good on a portrait card. Um, so this is our card today using that Zany Zoo set. So um, I'll just give you a kind of a sneak peek of this. So this is the stamp set that's going to be available. So you've got a lot of really cute, fun images. Um, so these are going to be great for, hey, Mary, hey, Angie, thanks for joining. Um, these are going to be great for, you know, um, kids as well as those people that we have in our lives that are young at heart as well. So super cute. Matching dies, but what's so cute is you've got these little curtains that you can make stages with. So you've got your, um, you can make your curtain at any length. You've got the side curtains. You've got this great um, pendant that you can use on anything, really, any cards. You've got some balloons, trees, flowers, all sorts of stuff. I don't really know what that is now that I look at that one. I may have to check into that one. It looks like an ink bottle, maybe. I don't know. All right, so... Let's get started. I've done a lot of die cutting ahead of time. Oh, and here's the Zany Zoo or the Zoo Crew um, DSP. So perfect, fun images that can be die cut. You can see I die cut some of those. Or you've got gorgeous black and whites. And who doesn't love black and white? You can add some pops of color. It's one of my favorite things to do. All right, so let's get started. As I said, I did a lot of this stuff ahead of time. My measurements will be on my blog tomorrow. So let's do, 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 do. let's do our stampin'. Hey Sally, thanks for joining. Hey Karen, thanks for joining. Okay, so we're going to do our stamping first. So as I said, all these measurements are going to be available on my blog. Hey Sue, I saw you out there reading today. What an awesome day. I, you encouraged me to go out and get some sun while I was doing my typing on my on my blog for this week. So what I have is I have a, a my Coastal Cabana and I have a four by five and a quarter piece of cardstock. And I'm just gonna give it just a nice little stamp and I'm gonna kind of do it a little bit here on the side. So this is gonna go on the inside. Then I'm gonna bring in my Memento Ink, my Tuxedo Black. So the reason I'm gonna do, use this ink is because this is we're going to color with some blends and I want to make sure that it doesn't run. So that's why I always go to my Mementos Black. All right. We've got this cute little turtle singing. So we're going to do that. Ooh, I need to grab the notes. I didn't put those on a block. All right. So let's grab that out of there. Get me a block here and set it. There we go. We'll do that too. We may add some up here too. Let's just make a little, there we go. Make a nice little trail of, of notes there of them singing. All right, so that's gonna be our inside. Let's go ahead and adhere that and that way it'll be ready to go. All right, so what I have is I have a pool party mat so I'm just gonna take some stamp and seal, run it along there, that way it'll be ready. Ah, a vase, Mary, thank you. I was really stumped when I looked at that. I was like, oh, I don't know, I don't know. Thanks for saving me, I appreciate it. All right, so we'll do that. And now we're gonna stamp 
the sentiment for the inside. So what I have is I have a piece of basic white and this is cut at four and five eighths by three. All right, I'm gonna take that basic black. Well, thanks for finding it, I appreciate it because I would have forgotten until later, probably when I was on camera again. All right, let's do just a little stamp of that sentiment for a birthday card. And I'm gonna tell you something. Last weekend, I was having trouble with my Mementos ink. I re-inked it and I think I used half of a bottle on, on one ink pad and it still wasn't giving me a good image. So this week I've been storing them upside down. So that may be a tip for you out there for any of those that aren't really great about re-inking your ink pads because I'm not the greatest at it. Um, I try to do it at the very last minute. Um, that may help. So just a little tidbit I'm going to throw out there. Okay, so I've given this a couple of minutes. Mementos ink doesn't dry instantaneously, so I try to give it just a little bit of that dry time. All right, so now we're gonna adhere this to a Coastal Cabana mat. And then we're gonna create our scene. Oop, that's a little too close there. So I love this die set because it is gonna be super cute to create those scenes. Ooh, yuck. See what I mean with that Memento ink? I'm gonna give this a little scratch here. We're gonna get that off of there. There we go. If you do not have a Tombow eraser, yeah, you need to get one of those. You can grab those off of Amazon. They're fantastic for those little ink blotchies that we accidentally do. All right, so let's see here. I've got some die cuts here already prepared. Oh, a perfume bottle, there you go, Amy. There's no skunks in this set, I don't think. Oh, but there is. There is. There you go. You may need that perfume. Okay. So, what I've got here is I've got some lemon lolly cardstock that I cut with the curtains. How gorgeous is this lemon, you guys? It is so pretty. I also have just a small strip of DSP that we're gonna adhere down because I don't want my my ballerina floating in the air. Yeah, Mary, Mary, I have used mine forever and it is a lifesaver, that's for sure. Okay, we're gonna put that down there and then we're gonna take some small black dimensionals and put it on this curtain. So I believe that this basic black that I did was about an inch, a half an inch wide. And then I cut it with the little curtain. Uh, it may have been five eighths of an inch wide. And then I ran that through the die cut. <laughs> Lemon Lolly is gonna be my new favorite. Mary, I'm with you. It may take over pumpkin pie, I don't know. You know me and the orange. I know we've got a lot of other orange fans on here too. I don't know, that boho blue and copper clay is pretty good too. All right, so there we go. It's not covering all the way, but that's fine because we're gonna put these curtains right on over it and we're gonna use dimensionals on them too. And so I have black dimensionals just because this is what's been on my desk this week. I'm just kind of one of those people that use what I have out closest to me. There's not really any rhyme or reason as to why I do it. Ooh, I bet it does look good with pumpkin pie. Lemon lolly and pumpkin pie. Heck yeah. All right. So I'm going to line this up here on the edge to create my curtain. So we've got our nice little area here for our scene with our cute little ballerina. All right, now I'm gonna take my tweezers and I'm gonna pull up one of these. So the die cut set has this little bitty guy here, right there. I don't know if you guys can see that. 
So it's got the two ropes that you can cut and you can do it in whatever color, but I thought since we did the curtain as black, the black and the yellow would look really good together. So in order to do this, I'm gonna use just a little bit of this glue and it's almost out. So hopefully that will help me not get used too much. And I'm gonna put that at an angle, kind of create that tie back look. So I'm flipping it over, kind of looking to see which side is the right side to use. Okay, and then let's see here. There we go. Oop. You're supposed to be on here. Okay. All right. We'll get this out of the way and we'll add a couple of dimensionals to the back of this little guy that I die cut with the from the DSP. And I'm just gonna use those basic black stampin' dimensionals again. Oops, the little guy flipped over. All right. And there we go. We're gonna send him right here. There we are. All right, there we are. So there's our front. So now we've got basically everything stamped and ready to go. It's just basic assembly. This was really quick. Ooh, let's go ahead and color our turtle because I haven't done it. All right. Oops, this marker is seen better days. That's on the next order is some new blends. You guys, I made the, I addressed all of the graduation announcements. Graduation is in a month and four days. I don't know how I'm surviving. He's never home, so he's getting me ready for being gone next fall. This is one of two, and I'm not sure I'm ready for this. And I've always treated him kind of different because, you know, he's a baby boy, you know, he's a little boy. He's a, uh, he needs his mama. But I got those all addressed. All I have to do is put on the return address labels and then they'll be ready to go. But I had kind of a rough weekend doing that. So I made some cards to help me out with that because that's my go-to thing to do. All right, so I'm just using some blends here and I'm bringing in that Coastal Cabana, no, pool party, bringing in that pool party for this to create a little bit of a fun thing for the microphone. And do, 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 do. I don't really... So I'm kind of coloring this a little lighter because I don't really have a lighter like green that I want. So I'm going to bring in my color lifter to kind of make this a little bit lighter. I may have lifted a little bit too much. So this is one of those things you just kind of you add and take away and add and take away till you get the color that you want. There we go. Now, let's do the super light for this top. I had some parakeet party out, but I didn't think that was gonna work. All right, so there's our colored turtle. So Rosie, it's not really gonna be a huge change for us. He's wrestled for, you know, since he was seven, so he's not been home a lot much of his life anyway. Um, I'm just going to miss my hug every night, you know, before he goes to bed, before I go to bed. 
that's going to be the big thing for me. All right, so this is a panel of Coastal Cabana cut at eight and a half by five and a half, and I scored that on the eight and a half side at four and a quarter. So just your standard A2 card base. So I'm going to score that and burnish it. So there we go. And now I have a piece of five and an eighth by seven and five eighths. Ooh, hey, Karen. Um, I'm glad I left my notes up here. And so I scored that at one and three quarters and three and a half. And so this is what's going to create that step, that little easel that we're going to do. All right, so I'm going to give it a nice burnish. And then I'm going to add some of that black and white DSP here to the back. So yeah, he's been gone all day today. Him and his buddies had breakfast at the house this morning. Luckily, they created it themselves. They didn't ask me to make breakfast. Um, but they used my kitchen. They had, I don't know what all they made. Crepes and bacon and I don't know what else. There's some creative young men, let me tell you. Okay. Now I've got another piece of smaller DSP that we're going to put on this front. So they went golfing all day in a small town south of here. They uh, are on the golf team together. So he's just not home very often anyway. All right. I'm going to pull that up. So when you use stamp and seal before you... So the nice thing about liquid adhesive is you've got a little bit of wiggle room, but you kind of have that wiggle room with seal if you don't push it down. So I just kind of lay mine flat, kind of move it a wiggle around, then I seal it. That way, oh, he, yeah, he wasn't at the car wash today, Karen. Nope, he was work. He was golfing today. Okay. All right. So then this is ready for the front. Uh oh, the puppies are out behind in the hallway wanting in. They're like, why is this door shut? Okay. So I'm putting quite a bit of seal on this because, uh-oh, this is kind of your mechanism, so it's going to be moving around a lot. Okay, so what I do on this is I've got it folded, and I'm going to make sure that I have that good edge on the whole way around, and then I'm going to seal it down. We'll go ahead and open it up and put the inside in. Well, when you know it, get rid of that. Now, if you don't use seal, here's a tutorial on putting it in re or refilling it. So you're getting more bang for your buck tonight. I should have checked it before I started, I guess. All right, so here's my seal refill. I'm going to flip it over here, and basically you just line up these two holes. That's all you got to do. Easy breezy. And why would you pay for all this plastic if you didn't have to? So. It's nice and ready to go. All right, so here's the inside of our card base. with that pool party mat of against that coastal cabana. I thought that looked really good with the green, the um, the black and the white, and then that pop of yellow. All right. Now I'm gonna take some tear tape and I'm gonna line it up along this bottom edge. And the reason I'm using tear tape is because it's a little bit stronger than the Stampin' Seal. And I have a tendency to use all my Stampin' Seal Plus if that's what I've got sitting on the cab on my desk instead of Stampin' Seal. And then when I need the Stampin' Seal Plus, I don't have it. So I've just gone to using just Stampin' Seal on my desk. All right, 
peel those away. And then I'm going to shut that and line it up. And give it a good burnish there. So there you go. Double easel card, birthday card, using the Zany Zoo stamp set. Oh, and we need to do my envelope here. I always forget to do that. All right, so new catalog. Next, a week from today is the deadline for my paper share and product share. So if you were interested in that, let me know. I'll get you an invoice in the mail. I got all of those, or in your email. I got all of those out yesterday. All right, there's a little furnish. We'll do a quick little snip and then we'll be done. Next Sunday night, I don't know what we'll do yet. Um, got a couple of fun blog hops this week. Don't miss those. Um, one on Tuesday, one on Thursday. I don't know of anything more exciting with Stampin' Up! coming out. Just everybody getting ready for the new catalog, which is like less than 10 days away. All right, there we go. Thanks so much for spending your Sunday night with me. I appreciate it. I'll be back here next Sunday night, 7 o'clock, same time, same place. Thanks so much and have a good one.